coursework for the entire semester is built into the modules page. And so when you log into the course, you'll be at the home page. It has instructions for getting started, but every single time you log in, you'll have to jump to the modules page. It's important to print the schedule because the schedule tells you what module you should be working on. I think the hardest part about navigating the modules page is just remembering which module you're currently working on. So if you have a physical copy of the schedule printed and we're in week eight, you'll know that you need to click on module five because we're working on module five, which is the working with graphics lecture. When you're ready to do your coursework, you'll click on the modules tab, or sorry, the modules button. The modules button will always dump you into module zero, which is the getting started module. So for the first week of the semester, all you have to do is click on modules, read all of the information that's provided. It will be self-explanatory if you read it, and then complete the required activities and required submissions. It's important that you always complete the required activities because you will not be able to do the required submissions without it. And as an instructor, it is very obvious who has and who has not done the required activities. I'll get submissions that have nothing to do with the question I'm asking because somebody has interpreted that question wrong because they did not complete the getting started activities. So although it will be a little painful, please complete all the activities listed. Um, it should take you, I know I put two to four hours here, but if you do it incredibly thoroughly, it'll take two hours. It'll take half an hour if you just, you know, read through it and complete the activities pretty quickly. It shouldn't take very long. Any of the items that look like a dark red button or have a number next to them are things that you're going to get grades for. And I think that's why a lot of times people will skip over the required activities and they'll jump right to the required submissions. So make sure that you're doing both, but also make sure you're not missing anything with a number or else you'll get a zero for that in your grade book. One, I'm going to jump back to the home page. I think one of the problems with people skipping over the required activities for the course is that on the right hand side here, you'll have a thing that says to do feed and coming up. And historically, Canvas has only put things in the to do feed that require submissions or that have grades attached to them. And so you'd see, oh, I just have those one, two, three, four, and five activities that are due this week. I'll click on them and do them. And then I won't know how to navigate to anywhere else in the class to do any of the pre-work. And so I would encourage you not to follow the to-do feed on the right-hand side. I would use it as a way to make sure I don't miss something. But you should definitely be navigating the course by clicking on modules and then reading everything on the module page that's presented to you. Before I go through the specifics of what's required in module 00, I do want to show you the pattern for all of our quote real modules. So module 00 is an introduction module. It's just meant to make you understand the expectations of the course. If you click on module one, you'll see what the rest of our modules actually look like. Every module starts with a little intro paragraph. It's only one paragraph, just read it. It explains kind of what we're gonna do and why we're gonna do it. And then if you scroll down, there are module learning objectives. And then on the right hand side, it will just say the name of the module. Starting with module one all the way through module 12, you should read through all the learning objectives on the left. You should complete the activities on the right, and then you should go back and reread the learning objectives. After you complete the activities on the right hand side, if you reread the activity, the learning objectives on the left, they should make sense. Like right now, does it make sense when I'm like talking about INDDs and IDMLs? Probably not. But after you complete the lecture and all the activities for printing, packaging, and exporting, when you come back, you should feel confident that you know the things that are listed. Every, prod, uh, every uh, module will have a lecture page, so click on lecture materials. You'll see that there's a slideshow lecture that you can read through, and there's recorded videos. You can choose to do one or the other, um, but keep in mind that you should be watching the lectures. If you choose not to watch the lectures and just read the slideshow, Every once in a while, you might come across something that you're like, I don't, I don't know that it's not covered in the, in the slideshow. Um, nine times or 99 times out of 100, it's because it's covered in the video. And I was talking about it in greater detail than the slideshow covers it. Once you participate in the lecture, you'll do a project, a vocabulary quiz, and a discussion. I'm going to leave that there so we can talk more about the expectations in the first week of the semester. Um, but this pattern follows itself. For every module, 
from now until the end of the semester. Module 7. Well, Module 9 is different. It's the midterm. But Module 10. The only difference is some of them have, you know, two lectures instead of one if it's a two-week long module. But that pattern will follow itself from now until the end of the semester.